Katy Perry and Orlando Bloom were spotted locking lips in a passionate embrace as they enjoyed a spectacular performance by American rocker Bruce Springsteen. The gig took place in London's Hyde Park in front of a 130,000-strong crowd, including acting legend Emma Thompson, 64, and Leslie Mann, 51. Katie, 38, and her fiancé Orlando, 46, were also in attendance at the sellout show and were spotted singing along to anthemic classics born in the U.S.A., and born to run. Standing in the VIP area with the other A-listers, Katie looked stunning in a pale pink top, oversized sunglasses and a gold chain bag. Wearing her long raven hair down and loose in soft waves, the mum of one appeared to be soaking up the atmosphere as she partied with her other half and their pals. In a sweet nod to her and Orlando's daughter Daisy Dove, Katie added a cute choker-style necklace with the flower on. While enjoying the show, the amorous pair couldn't their hands off one another and stopped to take a selfie of them snogging in front of the stage. Orlando looked handsome in a plain white t-shirt and blue jeans, wearing his dark hair cropped short and with a smattering of facial hair. Their friends Leslie Mann and Emma Thompson were also seen partying next to the loved-up couple. Knocked-up actress Leslie looked every inch the rock star in a white tank top that showed off her toned arms, hot red lipstick and her auburn hair down and loose. In one shot, the This Is 40 star can be seen singing to Katie as Orlando is enthusiastically getting involved with one of Bruce's hits. Harry Potter actress Emma also appeared to be having a great time at the outdoor gig, singing and dancing along as Bruce and the rest of E Street belted out a number of tunes. Wearing an oversized white shirt, Emma accessorized with a few delicate gold chains and her short hair loose. In one snap the nanny McPhee star added a tie around her head as she let her inhibitions go and rocked out to the concert. Emma is well known for her love of getting involved and dancing away, previously delighting fans during an audience with Adele concert at the London Palladium. During Adele's Rolling in the Deep performance the Love Actually star threw her hands in the air and twisted from side to side before beckoning the audience to bust some moves as well. And her fans rushed to Twitter to give their approval to her energetic dancing during the special show. One wrote, Emma Thompson is having the night of her life. And former Radio 1 presenter Nick Grimshaw called for ITV make a show about Emma Thompson's dancing. The last time American Idol judge Katie was in London was in May to perform at King Charles III coronation. The American songstress took to the stage at Windsor Castle wearing a glamorous Vivian Westwood dress and wow the 20,000-strong crowd with an energetic performance. Afterwards, her Pirates of the Caribbean man took to Instagram to share his delight at her performance, gushing, immensely proud of you my love. You always bring the light, Katie cutely commented back, our light, with a heart icon. Orlando's gushing post about his other half at the history-defining event showed the stunning venue lit up with a lion firework in one image, while another showed the American Idol judge with a beaming smile with the microphone in her hand. The dad of two previously admitted there is never a dull moment in his relationship with Katie, 38, and said Hess glad they connected in the way that they did. I think we're both aware of how blessed we are to have uniquely connected in the way that we did at the time that we did, and there's definitely never a dull moment," he told Flaunt. Katie previously revealed that being with her kind fiancé helps her to overcome her depression. I always say when he walks into the room he has this joie de vivre to him and some people ask, what is this guy on? Katie said during an appearance on Dear Chelsea. 
She added, has just really got this happy, posy vibes and am a little bit more heady and prone to depression in some ways, and so it's good for me to be around him because he gets me out of my head a little bit. Katie was married to comedian Russell Brand from 2010 until 2012, while Orlando was married to Miranda Kerr from 2010 to 2013 and the former couple share 12-year-old son Flynn. Miranda recently shared her joy at co-parenting with Katie and said the two formed a strong bond after attending family events together. We really do always think of what is the best thing for Flynn, and I just think that's the most important thing," she said during an appearance on The Drew Barrymore Show. Speaking on her Moments podcast, she added, I saw how she was with Flynn, she was very playful with Flynn, she was not trying to be his mom. She was just being friendly and kind and that's all you can ask for. Now back in Blighty to watch Bruce Springsteen, Katie and the crowd were delighted when he joked about music bosses cutting the power once again during his epic three-hour set in London this evening. The boss was playing London's BST Hyde Park for the first time since 2012 when they pulled the plug after he breached the curfew. During a blistering performance of Glory Days Tonight, Thursday 6th of July, he had the 70,000 strong crowd in hysterics saying, it's time to go home. I'm telling you they are going to pull the F plug again. The mirror was how he was scheduled to start at 7 p.m. to ensure the 10. 30 p.m. curfew wasn't breached. But this time around show bosses didn't need to pull the power as the show ended at 10 p.m. this evening, a full 30 minutes before the curfew. Bruce's epic return to London's Hyde Park saw tickets for the gig sell out, with 130,000 tickets for the two days disappearing in just minutes.